Hello, welcome back. Um, I do apologise for having no display. My computer is about to blow up because it's like 30 degrees and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning here when I'm recording this. So uh, to stop it exploding during the video, I had to turn it off. But it would normally say, please subscribe and click the bell and that kind of stuff if you want more Crystal Palace content. So hopefully you will. OK, so I was reading online this morning that um, Andre Mazuko, who is the technical director of Botafogo, Botafogo he, um, he has said that um, Mateus Nishimoto is in talks to sign for Crystal Palace. Now, if you watched my video um, a little while ago, and I'll put a card up there somewhere, if you uh, if you haven't, you can watch that first. Basically, John Texter, the one of the co-owners or shareholders of uh, Crystal Palace Football Club, said that he was going to try and get Nashimoto to Crystal Palace so that um, he could develop his game and things like that. So it looks now as though in this new report that he, that uh, Palace are actively in negotiations with him. Apparently, Dugi Friedman is talking to him at the moment, along with John Texter, about a move to Crystal Palace. So apparently this guy is some kind of wonder kid. He's a, he's a, a star in the making. So uh, if we can get him to come to Crystal Palace, then certainly it'll be good for him because you'll get Premier League football. And it'd be good for us because we get a very talented individual, as far as I can tell. So that'll be a good thing for certain and hopefully he will um he will enjoy himself at Sellers Park I'm sure he will because we are a very welcoming family club as you can tell and so and next up I'm going to be talking very quickly about Teo Adaramola now uh, he's our um he's one of our young defenders apparently they uh, Coventry City are in a very close uh, very close to signing a loan deal for him so he'll be spending some time with uh, Coventry City now obviously I think it's going to be good for him because we need to have that um, outlet for our younger players. We need to get them to other clubs to get the experience that they need to then bring back and uh, and put forward in the Crystal Palace team. So hopefully it will be a good thing for him and uh, he will have a good time down there and learn, learn lots of things. Also, one quick thing I'm going to talk about very quickly is Patrick Vieira said in a recent interview when he was talking about Colin Gallagher that he expects there to be another couple of signings. Now, I don't know whether that included uh, De Cure and things like that, but it looks like Palace could be uh, signing a couple more players before the, before the window closes, or at least attempting to. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. And as I said before, if you want to find out when that's going to be and what the rumours are, then don't forget to subscribe because I'll be bringing you all the news from Crystal Palace transfers, news and everything else. 